The DNR emphasizing boater safety this weekend, which is certain to be one of the busiest of the summer. Talia Muhadeen rode along with game wardens today to learn more about how they plan to keep you safe. Um, I guess I had a calling to it, you could say. For Austin Schumacher, being a conservation warden was a natural choice. But I grew up hunting and fishing and uh, being outside. Um, I always felt really grateful for Wisconsin and the natural resources that it has. His job? Enforcing the regulations involved with hunting, fishing, boating, snowmobiling, trapping, uh, basically anything you do outside. A job that's especially important this holiday. This weekend, the number one priority for Austin is safety. As they say, life jackets save lives. So having a, a life jacket, a wearable life jacket on board for everyone that's on that boat is super important um, in case of an emergency or bad weather. Also high on the list of this weekend's priorities for the DNR is Operation Dry Water. Holiday weekends like this, we try to focus our enforcement efforts on the most um, populated areas and where we're going to get the most complaints. This means wardens will be on high alert for anyone boating under the influence. Pull them over for an initial violation uh, and we get to the boat and we see those, we see those signs of impairment. Um, we'll ask them if they, they'll conduct a, a variety of tests to make sure that they're safe to operate the boat. On Rock River alone, he expects to see at least a couple hundred boats over the holiday. There's always more than enough to do and there's never enough of me. In Edgerton, Tehleen Muhiddin, News 3 Now. And nearly 80% of fatal boating accidents involve drowning. So far this year, 13 people have died in boating-related incidents. Most of them were not wearing their life jackets.